know, when they start talking this about mask mandate, I never that. did the mask. I did the visor. Never did the mask, and I'm the only one in the entire city I hall that does the visor. Everybody else does mask. I'm like, you guys, no one said it had to be a mask. It's whatever face cover you need it to be. And they still wear a mask. But my department, we, we don't. We're downstairs in the mm -hmm. hole in the wall, and none of us have paid attention. <laughs> my pharmacy, my husband uses pharmacy, pharmaceuticals. They don't wear masks anymore. If there's only one or two people out of staff of about maybe 10 people that wear masks anymore. And I've never worn a mask. Even upstairs, if you're at your desk, you don't have to wear a mask. If you're going to go to talk to someone, like utilities, if they're going to pay a bill, then you would put your mask on. But you go back to the desk, mm -hmm. and it's always been that way. And if I go to the hallway to go to the other side, I have to wear my visor. But, and a lot of times I forget, and I just go over there, and they just go, oh, it's just Elizabeth. <laughs> because they Do know how I feel off. about it. Do they know how I feel about it. I'm like, I've already been there, done that. And now everybody in my department has been there and done that, and the other half. We're happy to have their vaccinations. And it's like, mm -hmm. good for you, we're done. We're done. You either had it or you got whatever Bush. you felt you needed. Bush. We're done. Bush. Bush. <sighs> I'm glad we're coming out. <laughs> well, how is your coming back in the US? Because I work as a travel agent and our work is non existent. I mean, I'm on 12 hour work weeks because there's just no travel. But yeah, well, the new bit. mandate by the feds, yeah. the, the fake federal government, mm -hmm. is now you have to wear a mask, and if you don't, you're fine. You can even be jailed. If you really? Don't. Oh, it's the biggest joke I've ever seen. And you had to get tested. Didn't you have to have a COVID test to get back in the United uh -huh. States? Yeah. So that means in Mexico you have to go somewhere and be tested, or they do it at well, the Well, it's airport. anywhere. Uh, it we did it where. at the clinic there in Mexico. Mexico's pretty And bad. And what's interesting is both me and my wife, we tested negative because we don't believe the virus exists anyway. So it doesn't exist in, in our universe. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool, you know, I, I'll never test positive because it doesn't exist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so I, I was told by the Spirit, don't worry about it. It doesn't exist. And, and it was so cool because well, everybody at the conference was negative. There was not a positive in the entire conference which was interesting, showing our vibration mm -hmm. was above any of that stuff. Yeah. You know, it was pretty cool. You yeah, I was you really- You cannot get sick. What's if that? You're high, if your vibration is high, you cannot mm -hmm. be sick. Because disease will not be able to thrive. Yeah. Just, disease vibrates pressure. very low. Exactly, yeah. Your body has to be at a low vibration to become in the state of dis. It's the only way out. Yeah. And it's scientific. Hey. And mystical. Mystical. <laughs> at the same time. Mystical and true. Yes. Yeah, I don't. Science is a is a religion, and so that's why I don't profess science anymore. I just profess God. Well, I don't know if that I would call that science. But, um, it's a belief system, well, which yes, is I the definition a system of, a of a religion. Mm -hmm. Just because in, when I do puts on therapy, um, when I do the feed, I can see the dysfunction or the dis-ease in the body. And I just put it together that it always has to do with the, a specific chakra. Okay, and that chakra represents, um, okay, the heart would be love, or it could be gold of reverse, you know, the lack of love, or, you know, whatever the vibration of the person is, it's not right or wrong, but that's just how they arrived at that state. And they're always associated with the chakra, any kind of disease in the body. 
And so we just have to look at that and balance it mm -hmm. and bring it back into the right vibration. Yeah, and each chakra represents a different body that we actually created in lowering our dimensional vibration. We, when we existed in the God vibration, we didn't have chakras. We oh, just were the vibration of love. And when we came out of that love is when we created the etheric body, the causal body, the emotional body, the mental body, all through our thoughts away from the love of God. A little humor here, a little root chakra humor. <laughs> I we wonder if, uh, with the, the fear that has been uh, taken over, that is dissipating, but I wonder if uh, hemorrhoids became a, a thing. If they sold a lot of cream. Hemorrhoids is stagnation in the liver, and it, there's a direct connection between liver congestion and hemorrhoids. When I was, was on my mission, I developed hemorrhoids, and I thought it was just eating so much beans and rice in Puerto Rico. Mm. But uh, when I realigned and got rid of my liver congestion, my hemorrhoids went away, and they no longer exist. But look at the chakras that they Yeah, it's in the root chakra. So you had some emotional blockage going on. It has to be fear, 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 some kind of fear. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's at all, everything is so connected. It's like amazing. And it's all connected by your fashion lines, which store your energy. And that's yes. what I'm going to go teach right now. So you guys should come you to my class are. sometime. <laughs> that's why we don't have to leave. Well, we'd love you just to share here with oh, us. Oh, you know, we could totally, well, you, it's fun. It's a physical class. But I would love to do maybe like an intro. Just How about next week? That will be next awesome. week. Sure. All right. Bring it's information. I can maybe just bring like the handouts, the tool, and if you want to bring or wear shoes that you can slip on and off, we can kind of pass it around. Just do our feet, so it's COVID friendly. What tool is it? I'm gonna go it's buy a it older. Uh, with my own. My oh. daughter just had it done. In fact, she did it too over. She overdid it, and she was like detox. Oh no no no! That's doing it right. That's okay. not overdoing it. Okay. That's she when you do it right. Yeah. yeah, for three days, your body goes to a deep detox. And if you bring in the tools that we know, because I try to go woo-woo in my class, but it's a bihan, and they're like just yogis, and they're they're that level of woo-woo. Yogi woo-woo, I've realized, is way different than our woo-woo. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, but I try to bring in the, the body codes and say, okay, I'm releasing this from my hips because our hips store a ton of energy. You know, like you said, I'm releasing this from my root chakra, my heart chakra. You know, I can open up my third eye as we're releasing the tension in the back of our neck, creating the flow through the head. And so, so yeah, you're right. All I think it was your class that my daughter went to. Well, she, she went with um, Easton and yeah, Easton comes to my class on Wednesday. Uh, his wife, but he, I think Easton goes all three days, Monday, Wednesday. Well, she went to the class with both of them. That was probably you. Yeah, and you can make your own tool. It is hard though. It's not a squishy roller. It has no give to it at all. The only, the only thing giving you a little bit of um, comfort is a very thin piece of commercial carpet, which if you've ever felt commercial carpet, there's no padding. It's just like plastic. So that's it, a hard PVC pipe basically, of course it's patent. It was created by someone who studies at the Fashion Institute in Europe. Um, and he, this is his passion. And so when I started doing it, I had sciatic nerve pain um, and that completely went away after one year, and then I got into the energy world, got certified for that, and went, okay, whoa. And when Easton said it, your fascia line is the connection between your physical and spiritual body. It's like, thank you for preaching my gospel. <laughs> because I wish people would realize, like, when they're in this physical body, you want to level up. You, know, you want to reach up and stay connected with that higher self, but when you're in pain and when you're struggling, holding these emotions inside of you, mm -hmm. they're causing that disease. They're causing those discomfort, mm -hmm. stomach issues, you know, roll out our entire no, digestive no, system. No, no, so no, no. about three inch. No, no, no. Why do we use, no, no. yeah, maybe four inch, okay? Somewhere around there. And then you can, I would say, make it longer than shorter. We have like 18, 20, but then we have 24. I would say the longer, the best. The longer the better, because when I teach doing stomach and I like them to be able to do over the whole thing. Opening up that whole center. I see it's like I'm working on my solar plexus. <laughs>
curved too, right? Yes, yes, a wider okay. body. <laughs> right. And that would be me. Well, it's like it's all adults. I mean, I don't. Well, know. I went and it was so much fun. And the stomach. I had a C-section. That hurt the most, but it is nice. It breaks down the scar tissue. Where, where do you make that thing out of that roll? Well, I buy. I'm certified with the company, and I'm not allowed to make them because I signed saying I will only use their, yeah. their, you know, whatever it's called, product. But you could use a very, very hard PVC pipe. Our, the one that they patent holds up to, I believe, 500 pounds. So there's not like a human, you know, we, we don't have to worry about a weight. And that was a big deal for, for people coming to play. So yeah, anything really. But when I bring them, I have five. I teach over at... Um, Awakened, awakened soul. Awakened what, Elizabeth? <laughs> yeah, I teach over at Awakened Souls, so I do carry around five rollers plus my own. Um, so yeah, that'll be fun. Yes, let's do that for sure. How much time should I spend? Uh, well, we one hour. Yeah, okay. Nine thirty to ten thirty. So. Oh, okay. And you can have as much of that as you'd like. So. And everybody should make sure they bring a watch. Yeah. Well, we're not going to do the whole class. But still, Ooh, we might yeah. 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 yeah, we just need your biggest. Yeah. yeah, bring water for sure. Yeah. But you only have to participate in your own doing choice. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. 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 Yay. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we want everybody to bring their gifts. That's why we're here. Yeah. We're just oh, growing and expanding and everybody sharing. So thank you so much, everybody, mm -hmm. for sharing today. Uh, we're out of time, so let's go ahead and gather up. Because Scott, you are did you do a blessing last week? We actually did it, just kind of dispersed it. Ah, Cindy was I church. want everybody to feel free well, to yeah, we bless each other. Everybody kind of dispersed it. Yeah. At the end of it. You are blessing you. Yeah. Well, we'll get her done today. Yes. <laughs> cleansing breath bring in the love of God breathe in the love of God into your hearts the pure love of God hold it there incorporate it and love it and then release anything that isn't the love of God breathe in again the love of Mother Earth central sun in the center of the universe and bring God's love in from that perfection of the great central sun and breathe out anything that isn't from the great central sun breathe in again God's love into your hearts and align it with your entire body incorporate it into all In the name of the Almighty, I am that I am, and by the power of the great divine director, the Holy Spirit of God, emanating out into the entire universe and into our universe, we ask for your blessings. We bless each of you that you will receive the love of God in your hearts, minds, and souls and that you will incorporate this into your soul, that this will be within you and around you and in the space around you, in your thoughts, your actions, your emotions, and your deeds, creating your personal reality and making your reality be aligned we bless each of you that you will be blessed with that love, with that energy of creation, that you will be able to create quickly and easily.
the desires of your heart's love. We bless you that your minds will be still in that stillness and that you will be able to enable God to be in control of your heart, mind, and soul. We bless you that with this, your bodies will be perfected, your minds will be perfected, your emotions will be perfected with the love of God, and that all around you and in you and even the, in the space around you, you will be filled with that love of God and its perfection. We bless you that you will take that out into the world and project that perfection to all you see and everything you are around you. And that all disease will be removed from your bodies and you will be perfected in God's love. We bless you with these things in the name of the Almighty. I am that I am in the name of Jesus Christ in the consciousness of love and grace. So be it, so it is. Thanks for being here, folks. Small group today, but, but powerful. <laughs> Just seeing lots of lots of light laws around everybody. <laughs> you know, every day, every time we drop that bowl right there, there is a chimney. And like if you were little like her, I would climb underneath there and just lie down. <laughs> <laughs> the chimney. Under the chimney. Come here, buddy. Oh, oh, that's great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for everybody's comments. That was good. That was good. Come here. online and the reason that happened was it would be too hard to move all the equipment from my house over here. and I didn't want it to get destroyed because it was expensive okay <laughs> so are you sending us a link or how because I'm signed up for your class yes uh, yeah we'll send it tomorrow morning oh, okay. so, so it'll be fresh on your email tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. all right and uh, starts at 5 30. Okay. okay and so just you know you can get on before 5 30 and just tune in and, and okay. you'll you'll we usually start the recording right at 5 30. Okay. okay okay thank you you're welcome thanks for being here we're learning a lot. There's so much information, Scott. Yeah.